When I'm at the grocery store, I often stop by the lobster tank. Then I shake my head and think, I can't believe we eat these things. They're disgusting. They're giant bugs. I'm not saying I never eat shellfish. I do. I am saying that I find their appearance distinctly unappetizing. North Americans generally agree with this assessment in the case of most bugs. It's pretty unusual to come across a bag of honey-roasted ants, and I never see tins of salted, assorted grasshopper and spider parts. Is there any good reason why we're not as turned off by crustaceans? A quick terminology note. For me, bug equals arthropod. Do you think it's valid and useful to equate the two? It certainly saves on syllables. Moving on. I enjoy reality cooking shows such as Iron Chef. When shellfish comes up as an ingredient, we see the cooks tossing them directly into boiling water or hacking up the living animals with cleavers. I cringe a little, but then again, I have an overabundance of empathy. But the question is, just how primitive are arthropod nervous systems? Are there any experiments that support the conclusion that they cannot experience what we call pain? I have sometimes heard statistics about how greatly the arthropods on the planet outweigh humanity. In fact, the stats might have only been referencing insects specifically. So, given their impressive biomass, and if slaughtering them isn't especially cruel, doesn't increased harvesting and even farming of bugs for food make sense? On the grounds of suffering, sustainability, and nutrition, should we support the idea of supplementing our diets with more arthropods and fewer mammals and birds? These questions are primarily directed at Sophia Rune, but if anyone else has answers or insights, go right ahead and chime in.